thanks for agreeing to the interview. Um, do you use a comb? Um, I don't use a comb regularly, but I have a comb that I use if I have my hair out like it is today. I usually just use my hands to style my hair. Mm -hmm. And have you brought a comb with you today? I have got a comb with me today. This is my comb. So I only use this comb if I have my hair out in an afro. So that is the comb that yeah. you would use? Yeah. Okay. Um, what is the is there a is there a motif at the end of the no comb? there's no motif it's just very simple but this comb goes outwards so i don't know if it's for this purpose but i think it make, gives my hair a little bit more volume uh -huh. because it goes outwards okay um do you know when the african was first invented no i don't know and which country oh came? well i don't know the exact country but the continent of of africa yeah and how, how can you be sure about that? Um, I did see a documentary about it once where they spoke about the Africa and coming from um, Africa and um, how they did actually used to use it for their hair and for other things. Mm -hmm. So. And do you have any stories about combs or hair that you can share? Um, I don't know about stories about combs i just remember when i was younger having to get my hair done once a week by my mum and if i used to put my my hand i used to like to feel try and feel what she was doing and she used to knock my fingers with the comb and that's yeah that's just one experience so and there's always the, these kind of iconic pictures that you see of a child getting their hair done by their mother and i always think of that my mum knocking my knuckles when i was getting my hair done okay thanks brilliant okay